Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. I had three of five wins on a Warlock quest, and my other quests I'm not going to have time to do anytime soon, so it would be really nice to just get two wins here. What do you think the chances are? Sudden death, and the last couple games have been rough. Not enough tentacles. Can't decide if too many imps are not enough. Probably too many imps. Too many not enough imps. So, yes. What to... Mirror Lugan. match! That never goes Lugan. badly. Your soul shall like a normal mine. game, except it's more embarrassing when you lose. I am your nightmare! Uh, this is... You're no good. You're no good. Do I gamble on summoning portal? Yeah, no, I'd rather have, like, a card. That is, like, a messed up gambly type of thing. I'd rather have stuff I can play. Oh, maybe that, maybe stuff I could play wasn't an option. Although, I had to pitch three cards. It was the last one that came out as, like, somewhat castable. Oh, my God. Yeah, a vast was an incredibly subpar play. Hey, look, it's a 3-2 that is infinitely better, and my crappy guy can't even take it out. Um, we're, I've got a handful of five costs. I hate to use the coin, but I feel like if I don't put him out, I'm going to have nothing. This guy actually has a little staying power. Like, if, if we end up trading, I still have him. Oh, that's no good. I have to discard one of these guys to blow that up, probably. Yeah. So let's do that. Card. And well, let's take that out. I don't know if that's the greatest deal, but I don't really want to get further out of it once. That's ugly. Do you have anything to play with it? No? Good. Now, do I try and do I just put him out? Because he's serious news and he can deal with that and also protect this guy. Or do I put this out, gambling, and I might that it, that he can't play enough minions to kill it? It's only four hit points. If he could play two minions, that's not enough. So yeah, as well, it does damage. He'll kill it anyway. But that's the same for him, pretty much. Except he might have to use his guy. Play this next turn. I'd have five mana. This guy would. Well, these guys would each cost three, which I still would not be able to do too much of. You know what? You know, portal is cool and all, but. That is way too shaky a play. This is pretty serious. Even if he pumps the hell out of his guy and is able to trade, his guy would still die. He has to actually blow this up. Whereas later, when I have more mana, this handful of five cost stuff, this might actually be more viable. I might be able to play it and then immediately play one of them. One day, if it's I'll only costing me man. two mana net, then that's not as bad. He was saving cheap minions for that, eh? Ow. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty annoying, but again, he is going to have to trade his guy to take that out, so it could have been much worse. Okay, so Portal and this, still a crap play, so we're not doing that. It's not good. I could just play him, get the cards, and of course if I trade for that, then yeah, I get a card. I mean, this guy could protect my guy, but then die, so whatever. Let's see what the card is, and then we'll presumably trade. Yeah. Be terribly easy to take out my dragon right now. One day I'll be a real knight. At least that's an incentive for him to take more damage than he should. I mean, those cards would be good in the long run. His deck must be pretty weenie-ish the way it's coming out. Oh my god, his deck is atomic weenie. Okay. So I may have done something differently, but that being the case, we're definitely abominating. I play this. No, I don't have enough for that. Yeah, abominating. What we do. I probably should have just hit him for four, but I like the idea of there being less stuff left after the apocalypse. I think he can he can work it and take out my guy anyway if he wants to. This way, he still survives the two damage. As does the crop, but then he has to 
or dark vomit. Okay. I think you probably should just create the cross. Oh, okay. You were dumping your hand anyway. That's why. That hurts. I won't die. That hurts a fair amount. If I play him, then I can go him, and that's a little tiny toss, which isn't going to do me much good than him. That is not great. So man, so one, two, actually. I could do him and this, I but wonder. boy, I might just die. And then he can just take it out for cheap. Although if he takes that out, he's not killing us. That might be my best attempt, because he can trade with White Buddy, and my opponent has no cards right now, so he might not get an answer. And if for some reason he couldn't kill the summoning portal, I could make good use of it next turn, probably. The truth is in here. Okay. Card. <coughs> Cough. Ah, uh, you have a way to finish him, really? It's a tough call, eh? I mean, killing the portal seems like a good deal, but that means not hitting me for five. You haven't waited. Ah, oh, damn it. Get it out. Get it out. Okay, that's pretty unfortunate. But that means, are you leaving the portal alive? No, you're still doing that. Okay, that could have been worse. Shadow Flame. Expensive Flame. Um. That guy's unfortunately going to crash my taunt. This takes a lot of mana. I wish he hadn't. I can't do too good. Th I mean, I could do him as a 6-6 six, six and play this. You know what? I'm not actually going to get my opponent down to 15 anytime soon. That's really what I should do. Yes, I'm losing the ability to have him come out as a 9-9, nine, nine, but it's not going to happen anytime soon, and there's not going to be a long term if I don't make this work. With this, he's going to have to draw some stuff to get through this and actually kill him or me, You're in and I may have an answer. Now. Okay. Ow. Okay, so one option is I could hit that guy and then Shadow Flame, and that should kill everything. Can I do better than that? If I hit him with an implosion and it does two damage, then it makes no difference, and I still have to Shadow Flame. I wonder. If you hit with an implosion, it does four damage then it makes no difference, I still have to Shadow Flame. Yeah, okay. So I should just do that, basically. It's, it's unfortunate, like... Well, no, I guess the other... No, what I should really do is hit him for six, and then lose this guy to hit that for two, and then Shadow Flame. That makes more sense, right? Yeah. Hmm. Then probably drop some tentacles, I'm guessing. I could keep this guy alive if I shadow flame him and if I if I mean imp him. That gives me imps instead of using the tentacles. Yeah, that's smarter. Okay, hold on. We got this. Okay, it's gonna get rough now. My army is incredibly fragile. My life advantage is incredibly tenuous. That guy can take out a lot of imps. That guy can draw a card or do a ton of damage, so this could have gone better. Implosion, however, is pretty good. Now, do I spend one first in case I roll a 4? You know what, if I roll a 4, it's fine. It's not worth the, like, because I'll overflow, but, like, if I roll a 4, I'll deal with that problem. Got a first roll problem. Oh, look, exactly three. You know what, this guy's more fragile than the other ones. I'd rather use him to kill that. Even though that would free up more force space. Uh, let's draw a card. Why not? Uh, Dark Peddler versus this guy. This guy's going to do more damage, but Dark Peddler will be really good next turn. Potentially. He could draw me a kill if I don't have one. Stealth doesn't make much difference. If my opponent doesn't have an AoE, I'd be in a da I'd have him dead anyway, probably. An AoE or a big taunt. You I suppose it technically wouldn't have to be a big taunt. Any taunt there. Speaking of taunt, the game's taunting me by letting me get one win, so I'm going to be four out of five on my stupid quest. 
Although, I can't complain too much, because now I got my run up to four. So, positive! We are positive again. Positive is going to stick me with some kind of legendary card pack crazy, like, warrior whose deck is 90% epics. But, uh, we'll see. I don't, I don't think he's going to let me get fifth win, though. That would just be too convenient. 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 Yeah. Anyway. You could find me an opponent any time now. Any time. In the future. Gul'dan! Hey, Warlock again. Gul'dan! Not the same Warlock. Your souls shall be mine! I am your nightmare! Argent Horse Rider is pretty favorable, but I've got to pitch these guys. I need cheaper cards. Yay! 2-3 two, for 2. That his ability to warp mechs is not helpful for me, but whatever. I'll take it. Speaking of taking things, time. Okay. Find whatever I've got a core of cards that I can sort of play, so it could be worse. Now he could also rush out of the gate and like overwhelm me. I would not be surprised. He's not doing it yet. Okay. Again, I don't remember if I even technically have one other mech in here. I sure as hell don't have many. The chances of this benefiting me are near zero, if not actually zero, but but he does beat the peddler one on one, which I like. And I've still got my peddler, who is awesome. He might just take a mortal coil so that when I kill his peddler, he can mortal coil my guy and draw a card. And that'll be annoying, but I'm gonna have to take that chance. Oh. Okay. Immortal coin. Get it out! Get it out! Oh, he just got that guy. Eh. It does tempt me to use this guy to kill the 2 2, but because then I'll have more stuff to run. Uh, it, it's so not worth it. I should really just be peddling, I think. Because this guy's such a valuable move for later. Fine. Especially potentially oh, with a power overwhelming. It's not a power overwhelming. Do I take the Mortal Coil? It will draw me another real card. That I gotta take that over the Soul Fire costing me a card. Yeah. Let's just do that now. Cardify. Now I could hit him for two. I don't I don't want to give him control of this situation, so I am gonna do this even though he can just kill my guy. It's fine. Again, don't really have mechs, so whatever. He is literally just a two one now. A two one that could potentially be healed up to three. That is like the primary power that he has. Oh look, he died. Okay, okay, that's kind of stop this, but uh, I can't do this. Uh, the mana works out really poorly this turn, but you know, we're just playing overtime anyway. If I get a situation where he has nothing on the board and I have this guy and I uh, beat up overtime, that's pretty good. I I'm assuming he's going to play stuff. Look at that stuff. I should probably implode in that. But it takes my whole turn to implode in that. And if I get a 2, if I get a 3 or a 4, it's fine. I got stuff. If I get it, oh, that would be so bad. On the other hand, if I Shadow Bolt that, I can't really do anything else. I could drop this guy and kill one his face, and then I still haven't killed this. So, so many possibilities. This guy would do okay under the circumstances, but doesn't use my mana very well. This guy'd be terrible because he would just get killed by that. <sighs> Let's just try and take this out. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll just adjust. So I could blow that up. It'll get replaced with something else, and I can't do anything else much with my turn. If it was with the implosion, if I could guarantee I'd get a three or higher. Then I would totally do that. Give me an army against his two pop minion. But instead, we're gonna play this. Who is less 
doesn't use my mana as well as this, but he also doesn't get one-shotted by that guy. This game is already a little bit, like, uh, hard to decide, like, it, hard to tell what the right moves are. So There's possible. a lot of games, the space of moves that make any sense to perform is often quite limited. But so far, like, this game is just one of those expanding possibilities where there are, like, all kinds of ways I could have played that last turn. And I feel like there were a bunch of ways I could have played the turn before that as well. None of which were blatantly wrong to... Well, okay, lots of them were blatantly wrong in my eye. But you know what I mean. There were multiple choices which were not blatantly wrong and quite possibly a smart way to play. And it's hard to tell without knowing what your opponent has. I feel like I've been taking reasonable options, and I feel like he's taking a long time with his turn, so he better do something quick. Okay. Oh, that sucks. That gives him an extra card. That also sucks. He killed all my guys. Although, does he have anything on the board? He does! That extra double sucks. Possibly triple. Okay. I am not thrilled with that turn of events. However, I can kill that without losing this guy and play him, and then I have an army ish. You have been Tracer. That's apparently his name now. I'm trying to hide his Australian accent, but not fooling anyone. Team. Shields up. Alright, well at that point it's annoying enough. I might actually implosion it and then have to shadow bolt it afterwards. If the implosion does at least three, then we're good. But it probably won't. Yeah, look at that crap. Bite me. That was way too expensive and I probably shouldn't have done it, but we're just gonna. Maybe we can get her down and drop 9-9. The 9-9 version, the good version of Dracon and Crusher. There here, Evo. Yes. I so many possibilities. Okay, obvious move is obvious, but now what? Any time. I'm gonna pretend that he was trying to decide whether to drag to, to bomb my guy or himself. Fifteen health and only one mana. That looks magical. I'm gonna draw a card first, but I don't see how it would be better than this. Why? Got a siphon soul? If not, you wish you had a siphon soul. Warlock versus Warlock versus Warlock. Can I pull it off? You're at 13. I could now actually execute him with the Soul Fire if he doesn't if he doesn't have a solution to that. A taunt would slow my roll and I'd have to fight. But oh wow. Sweet. Yes. I got my gold. I now have room for another quest. We don't have time to play tomorrow. And five wins. That has suddenly turned into a solid run. We're going to see if it can get even more solid next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And check out our dorky argumentative anime reviews on Enemy Indecision.